And we're back in the road to 56 as the Celtic Republic. Pushing through France, the Netherlands and Belgium. Parts where we've stalled out because we just don't have the supplies, or if I'm honest, probably the numbers. I'm starting to think that I should um, scale the Brittany command back a little bit, a bit to more, more around here, try and cut off Paris. So I'm going to try pushing in directly. I get from both sides. Because if we can get these two out of the way, we can at the very least seal off these two. Let's see now, put them to power. And we are getting some support. Oh, looks like we. Ah, oh, no, we've had this pocket before. It's to be a bit of a pain. Hmm. Yes, any. Other recon. Maybe I should start changing these up to using motorized recon. Vision. Let's see what the. Doesn't give us any extra. Let's give us some extra art and some breakthrough, which if I'm honest, I probably do need. And probably same for the armored infantry. Yeah, I think the reason I went with the cavalry recon was just because I didn't have trucks to start him with. You start building more of these, so put this up to first. Thanks. More down in Wales. Don't need that extra. That either. All the stuff here that I queued up and then just never got around to getting rid of. Ooh, they're pushing us out of Lille. Which means we've got a little chance to make an encirclement here of a tank division. For why I'm researching these giant plane planes. Maybe for naval patrol bombers or something like that. Like, I have anything to really use it on. Oh, that's only for transport planes. Nope. Defense. Find secondary aluminium, which we never have enough of that. Excellent. Now we have at least one of these guys surrounded, which means they are completely out of out of. They're completely cut off. No ammo. No supply. Fuel. That's going to seriously screw around their organization. They're being put hit from multiple directions. Not what do you want to see? And of course, so much, so much rearranging going along on this front that I'm going to just scale it back a little bit. And that leaves a little bit of a gap in our potential front lines. Second thoughts, sees any attack and looks like this one's almost complete, so we'll push in there. This one's south of Wuppertal, looks like it's going to be done in a day. So, place anything, finish up anything that's actually in progress, and then nope. 
Yes. So what I'm going to do now is just these all of these and have our field marshal just build one across the entire front line. Regroup. Strategic redeployment. Still short of fuel, of course. Doing this. Eight. Let's push through. Towards rim, the airfield's here, which I'm not sure if that's actually a supply hub, but oh wait, rim is. So once we get there, we can cut off some German supply. It's kind of what you want to do with this. Scottish command is going to try pushing towards hmm, Wurzburg and other. Oh, Erfurt and Nuremberg are though. Pushing Frankfurt. And then Brittany Command will go for it. Will... From previous games, I know that Vichy is another, and Leon are also supply hubs, so. I'm pushing them. Yes, we do, we do need to wait until all this. And Mussolini has been deposed. So Italy is going to flip sides fairly soon. That should help with us. Let's see. Hmm. Start putting troops down. This will happen. The problem is, I areas are so spread out that I can't get spot. Is everyone in position? Positions are still preparing. are still prepared and we don't have enough organization for all of them Gosh. Fuel usage is a bit of a problem motorized recon company that's that's why i went with cavalry for fuel Do we lose? lose 11 defense and 3 breakthrough? Actually, I think that's okay. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have bothered doing that in the first place. That'll help. You can see how much fuel that was using. All right, it's time, it's time to go. That's what I like to see. Green bubbles. That's good. Oh. This little pocket here has been a right thorn in my side for too long. We finally got rid of it. Yep. Marines are having a bit of a hard, hard time pushing in here. Oh, they're they are pushing though. They've lost a total of fifty divisions since I first started invading. Like some of those are probably from the so the Soviets. Still, don't need you on naval invasion support. So strike force it is. Let's send the Norfolk back for. 
send the lawyer back. Oh, damn, we are short of infantry equipment. As usual, never enough factory. Probably won't have enough steel either. Salt we can any more. The word is bad. All right, so America, do you have any guns you can spare? Okay, they're letting us have some 400 guns, which should be just enough to cover our shortfall. Temporary thing while we get these out. Ah, uh, Civil War initially. Perfect. English Italy. <laughs> That's really a... Sure the Scots and Irish would not want that. Elsa, they're scratching your paint job. Well, looks like we're just pushing into Wilhelmshaven. Just. It's not easy. It's not, but it ain't easy. No. I think they managed to pursue us. Though the Brits, the English have managed to uh, push here. So they're no longer out of supply. Cool. Here. That was. That was kind of weird. Where where did that encirclement come from? Who knows? We're going to start going up to service by requirement because we're starting to get a bit lower than I'd like on manpower. Right, so one of our guys got caught. Ben? Is that the guy who's in... Send our rookie. Have this guy take over his mets. Yeah, we are really short. Still off to drink. I should start getting maintenance companies for some of my units just to so they can actually recover equipment. Ability isn't by usage. Please support anti-air now. I mean, pretty much won the air war. 61. 
yeah, once I get Logistic Company 1, I'm going to sw start swapping the, the port anti-air out. Or should I? Swap it out um, for the Cavalry Recon instead. We'll save up some support equipment, probably. Tiny. Especially if the thing is, once I get logistics company, I can then go double back and get this field anti vehicle kit. So it'll give them even more piercing and heart attack, which will also reduce their supply consumption, which that's never a bad thing. Oh, well, looks like we might have at least two Hungarian divisions and two German divisions cut off down here. That would be nice. More ace pilots. Oh gosh. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, right. Motorized division. Instead of support anti air, because I already have anti air logistics. Does add some breakthrough. We lose some air attack, some defense, some heart attack, it's a little amount of soft attack. Need a lot more support equipment, but we use less uh, supply, and that is going to be help. I never got around to doing this, so I may as well, because construction engineering is useless if I'm building if I'm building civilian factories. Or military factories. It's the one thing it doesn't have those two things it doesn't affect. I think this is what's left of the German Volksee Flotte. They've lost their main port down here. Can I try pushing a little again? Six infantry brigade. For exceptional bravery in the three, they are commended. Uh, they already have this to capture enemy equipment, so I might just go with. So, you know, supply consumption. What else I can decorate? Quite a few down here. Right. 49th Infantry Brigade for exceptional bravery in the Northwest Germany offensive operation. Recovery race and ocean capture. Well, 17 motorized division for exceptional bravery. Liberation tour on behalf of Free France. They are here, hereby awarded the Legion of Honor. Yeah, we really need to. Basically, we're sp currently being spread way too thin. We really need more. Probably need another infantry. Infantry army, really. Our portion of start scanning some of these light anti -air. well. We'll go for a factory scum. Oh, peace conference. Romania has obviously yielded capitulation, so that's. Yep, I think that was pretty much the, la the last of their fleet. Bismarck, destroyer. Same what they actually. Uh, they still have 29 ships, but most of them are submarines. So the another Bismarck, two more light.
Brittany, please, is just going to, is just going to head back and, and we need to start saving fuel, burning up all. I'm not going to bother raiding in the east and north now. And nope, we are still horrifically short of guns. We are going to be short for two months. Days, month and a half. Never enough. Rages. Because we pretty much control the entire Gibraltar Strait, the only place they can guarantee that they're, we're guaranteed to find them is here, the Cape Verde Plain. It's time to start building a few factories in Brittany. Let's build, build up their industry after all that time. No industry. industry. There are no. This is company two. Where are we going to go by? We're starting to get we're starting to close the gap here around v, around Vichy and Lyon. If we can do that, that's gonna be a massive amount of, of enemy units that are just completely cut off and will eventually attrition out. Oh we have an advance here. Yep, the Soviets are pretty much pushing in from the east. Let's push, see if we can... advance across the entire front and push him where we can. All right, I'm not going to push it for further here with the Marines because this is just a train slog. All on combat here in plane because we pretty much control Gibraltar and the Suez Canal. The only way for the Axis to get anything in is through this one tile here. Well, Soviets have entered Oslo. Yeah, the Germans have pretty much lost this. They started this, we're going to end this. So it is turning into a right pain to break some of these lines. Like they are out of supply pretty much. We still can't break through though. Full patterns of annoying. Research is taking a while, so I might speed it up in the long run. They pushed us back here? How dare they?
research grants for the extra speed. Yes, yes, yes. There, that should help. Alta conference. Reverse up here and get help push this, stabilize this little pocket. Oh, I think we managed to overrun at least one of them. Good cap. 219, down from 330. They've lost 100 since we start, since we launched our invasion. Of course, we are kind of... We're kind of stalled in a lot of places. Probably also something to do with the fact that the road networks are... are all just to hell. Oh uh, no. Should be done in a minute. Yep. Montenegro has capitulated. Okay, we've managed to stabilize that area. Ooh, looks like we might have managed to take, we might be taking to lose. Which means that's Italian, three Italians, one German, two Germans, completely cut off. Who? I'll get my hopes up, yes, but. Excellent. So these are, these years out here are completely trapped. They are not getting it. Christian one. I consolidate some of these units because units that are at full strength do way better than units that are at, than a lot of units that are half strength. A smaller amount of units that are at full strength do much better damage than do much better in combat than a lot of very very under strength units. Might as well just get rid of this because once we get this, we can just free it. We can free up this area. They're pretty much cut off. They can't do anything here. And I'm not going to bother cleaning up. I'll let the English try and sort that area out. It's over quicker. They're trying to flee across into, into Spain. We'll let the Spaniards deal with them. I really don't care. Oh, no. Seized Vienna. way this way. Yep, yeah, this are, they have absolutely no supply down here, so these guys are completely covered. Days. HS capitulated flex cohesion. with balanced cohesion because this is we're basically losing a loss of planning from that and we are still horrifically short of guns if that's the Yanks for some more we're also very short of these medium self-propelled anti-air we need to start buffing up the uh
Yeah, we're we're losing a lot. Basically, we we we're just chewing through them. So I probably need to pump up their armor. And modules. It does make them more expensive, but we've done that. Let's go probably a bit late now. Yeah. That's at least two divisions wiped out. Marines are on to move. Go with balance cohesion all around. I don't want them really casing too far. Oh, Chile has joined the war. And we have just liberated Paris. Due to some uh, micromanagement on my part, it was worth doing. This has probably got rid of. He has almost certainly fallen. Germany has. Doing too well. In. Slovakia. The. Oh, is this the carpet? Can't remember what it was. Excellent. Hungary's falling. Only we could actually just finish this little gap here. They have no supply. I, like, how exactly are they managing to hold out against us? Oh, looks like we might have got it. That's going to be a few very large divisions. So, now we just need to... In... They cannot hold against this. Mm -hmm. Start pushing into REM down there just to just to try and take this supply depot away from them. Probably don't have the Divisions do we have here? A few Italians, one German cavalry. Hmm. A lot of Italians and one Ger and one German division down there. Still, less things to worry about. Oh, bad idea. Oh, we are only, oh yay, 10 days of shortage of, equip, of infantry equipment and 100 days of support anti of self-propelled anti-air. Well, I think I'm starting to push it, push it out here. So it might be time to have the Scottish command start pushing the other, the Marines push as well. And once this, once this encirclement is completely wiped out, now uh, so I am just going to start pushing in from Brittany command as well. Uh, 
and that's what's left of the German fleet. The Tirpitz, the pride of their fleet, making one last sortie. Oh, she actually escaped. I'd hope that they're that she's doing it to render. Let me just concentrate as much as Yeah, what can I hmm. Economic optimization probably a good time to a bit late, but might as well. Extra production efficiency, that's always good to know. Go for it. Extra research speed, why not? We're basically in the tail end of this and after after taking out Germany, I don't think I'm gonna bother playing any longer. Like, the Celtic Republic is located here. We have absolutely no overseas colonies, so pretty too fussed about what over in the in the past. Now we've just about liberated Luxembourg. And rewards for that. Ooh. And that's three more divisions completely wiped out once this area falls. Just a little east of Saarbrücken. Karlsruhe and Stuttgart are holding. Nice little pocket here from Strasbourg down to northeast of Lyon. That's where Nuremberg is holding against us. Very first division is pushing it, pushing into there north of Nuremberg along with some English troops. Yeah, I'm just going to pause the recording until, until we actually capitulate. So this is probably going to be the last episode of the of this playthrough. And Germany has capitulated. A decent amount of a uh, war score. Quite a lot, actually. So, King of Norway. Liberation. I'm going to suggest we liberate Austria. Yeah. Oh, the Papal people states. <laughs> well, Herpet survives and we will take her. This is going to be great. Be worth doing.
something here I really something here that I really want a reason for me to do this. I'll be a thorn in the to wind up the Soviets, try and liberate Czech Republic. Seems a few. Okay. Ah, screw. This is such a first layout. So I think the mod does actually change a few things. Socialist Federation of or means back home here. Let's command home to and Shetlands and Orkney. Brittany command will just hold. Well, put my foot down, maybe. And we are technically still at war with the Greater East Party Spear. I'm not going to get. I think we've done enough. Right. This is bad. This is a mess. Well, that's going to be it, both for this episode and for the playthrough. Yeah, this was actually kind of fun. I was sitting around waiting to take our, uh, just hold, just holding the line here, and once we actually started pushing, we did did okay. We're pretty short of supplies, I admit, but there's not a lot we can really do about. Them. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do in my next playthrough. I might take a break. I might try a different game. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Bye for that. Bye for now, then.